Step 1. Have money. Step 2. Go buy it. Thanks for watching my video. Alright, alright. If you're watching this video then, I'm going to assume you're not obscenely rich or at the very least just have a more general interest in this topic. So what's a person to do if they want to establish a little pseudo kingdom but they're not one of the 1%? What if I said you, yes you, can own your very own private island for under $100,000? And I'm not going to just show you a handful of islands that you could pick from. No, I'm going to show you whole countries and regions that you can choose from. A heads up though, these places are cheap for a reason. They're either not the best weather or they're so remote that living there is going to be proved difficult. Canada has a lot of affordable islands on either coast. Sure, the climate in Canada may not be the idyllic sunshine getaway, but it's comfortable during the summers and very pretty during the fall. Also, it rains a lot on the coast, so fresh water collection should be a slightly easier thing to accomplish. And as an added bonus, there's a lot of game. Next is the South Pacific, which consists of places like Tuvalu, New Caledonia, and Fiji. Yes, even these tropical islands have some pretty affordable places. The reason why is because, well, they're extremely remote. You're going to have to struggle to get basic amenities like electricity and water. And development would be crazy expensive. But the price of admission could make up for that. My last recommendations are islands found within lakes. Yes, lakes. Look around the globe for countries with little development but a lot of lake real estate. Countries like the United States, Finland, and Nicaragua have a lot of awesome islands and cheap islands to move to. As a bonus, you're usually not too far away from civilization to help you out if you're ever in a jam. Alright, so you went through the hassle of acquiring the land and now you're ready to move in. But your future anarchist commune has no development. And unless your country is a survival island, things are going to get pretty hairy pretty fast. Isolation goes both ways. Without municipal assistance, water, electricity, and the internet are going to be a struggle to acquire. What's the point of your libertarian dictatorship if you can't watch cartographile videos? Every island is different, so make sure you do your research before you move in or purchase the place. Okay, okay, now you may be thinking, this dream is just so close. Because, let's face it, manifesto writing just doesn't pay like it used to. I mean, aren't there hundreds of uninhabited and unimportant islands ripe for the squatting? Well, I guess so, but that's a terrible idea. I mean, every country on Earth claims some sort of land, including Antarctica, and it would be up to the host country to come and kick you off. But whether they would do it would be the least of your problems, because places like these lack people for great reasons. They're terrible places to live. Most are little more than sandbars or rock piles with almost no vegetation to speak of. And you gotta think, how are you gonna get resources there? Aside from their isolation, you're gonna have to smuggle everything there, including yourself. But you may say, what about Sealand? They did it, and they didn't even have actual islands. I mean, I guess it's possible, but incredibly unlikely. But hey, if you manage to build the technocratic republic of Jarvis Island, make sure to invite me over. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. But whether they would do it would be the least...